Hi guys, so this is going to be a video on the kind of hair, makeup and costume, well not costume, but outfit ideas inspired by Zoe Deschanel's character Jess in the show New Girl. Now, at the end of the video you've realised I have a lot more outfits than I thought I did. Like, every time I put something back I'm like, oh my god, yeah, this works as well. So I think that me and the character of Jess just have very similar styles really because pretty much everything in my wardrobe would have worked as an outfit idea so after a while I kind of gave up because I was like I'm just going to literally end up showing everybody everything that is in my wardrobe so that's just <laughs> that would have taken too long so I don't know I'm not sure how many outfits there are at the end but there are quite a few but yeah this is the hair and the makeup I've just kind of separated the fringe out of it but it kind of can go fully either it's just because my fringe has kind of grown out a little bit now so it is quite long and it's kind of getting my eyes when I'm trying to speak and see but this is the look anyway um, so yeah I hope you like this uh, I put quite a lot of effort into this so I really hope that it comes across and yeah uh, let me know what you think let me know what you think of the outfits and stuff I'm sorry if there are too many and yeah I actually do another kind of quick hair tutorial like this is the one with heat I do a very quick one without heat as well before I do this so yeah so I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time Okay, so I'm just going to start out with just a bit of primer and I'm just going to apply that all over the lid. I always do my primer so messily, I don't know why. I can never seem to get it to look right. Not that it matters because we blend it in anyway. <laughs> Okay, now I'm just going to take this very kind of fleshy, nudey, shimmery colour uh, called Sin from the Naked palette and I'm just going to pack that just slightly all over the lid just to give a kind of shimmery base. You can use any kind of shimmery, flesh toned colour for this. There we go. Now as you can see this colour is not actually far off from my actual skin colour. So obviously just, you know, the more tan you are, the darker colour you will use. So now I'm just going to use, uh, no, I'm not, I'm going to go to the Divine Sleek Palette, the Oh So Special Palette, if that's focusing. There we go. And I'm just going to take this colour here, this quite shimmery, quite darkish brown colour here. And I'm just going to pack that just onto the outer, kind of the outer third really just to give a bit of depth. You don't really want to take this too far in. Okay, now I'm just going to take this brush here, which is a smudge brush. If that is going to focus, maybe. There we go. <laughs> and it's just this very kind of short, stumpy brush. It looks kind of really skinny at the minute because I've just cleaned it, but um, it's normally a bit fluffier than that, but it's still fine to use. So I'm just going to take that, which is a very kind of good brush for like the bottom lash line and stuff like that, and I'm going to take this here, this very dark brown matte colour here. It's slightly darker than the one that we've just used, but it's matte, whereas the other one was shimmer, and it is darker. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of smudge that across the top lash line. Okay, now as you can see, I've not taken that all the way quite into the centre. You can still see that very shimmery kind of nude colour in the centre there. And I'm just going to again take this same colour and just very, very lightly pull that along the bottom lash line as well. But be careful not to go into your waterline with this. And again, you don't want to go all the way into the centre. You just want to pull it to the natural end of your lashes. Okay, so now that I've been there. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm just going to take this colour here, again from the Oso Special palette, whoa, where is it? This one here, <laughs> which is a very kind of pinky, shimmery colour, and I'm just going to take that just on a blending brush, whoa, my hair's getting stuck, I'm sorry, <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of, you know, get some of that on my brush, and I'm going to blend that across the top, and as I do that, I'm going to blend the colours in. Okay, and that is what we have so far. Now I'm just going to take some cream eyeliner in black. And I'm just going to take this brush here, which is a very thin, small dome brush. 
I'm just going to get some of the product on here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to line the top lash line very close to the lashes. I'm not really going to wing it out or anything like that. I'm just going to kind of try and stick as close to the natural lash line as possible. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm again just going to take the gel liner on the same brush and what I'm going to do is I'm going to line underneath the bottom lash line. I'm going to actually pull that down just a little bit further than where my lashes are. So as you can see there, if you can see where my lashes are, I've actually taken the line just a little bit lower. This is just going to give the illusion of bigger eyes and give you those very kind of Zoe Deschanel big blue eyes. Well, if your eyes aren't blue, then big whatever colour your eyes are. <laughs> so I'm just going to do that. And I'm not going to take that all the way into the centre again. I'm just going to take that in as far as we took the brown. Okay, now it might take you a little bit of playing around with that to get it right, um, if this is the first time that you're doing it, uh, because it can end up looking a bit silly. But now I'm just going to take again this brush here, the smudgy brush, and while the liquid liner on the bottom is still wet, I'm just going to blend it out ever so slightly, just so that the line isn't as harsh. Okay, so at this point you can take a white eyeliner in your waterline. I, per ooh, I personally don't like doing that just because I think it looks a bit unnatural on me. But what I do like to do is to just take a cotton earbud thing, a Q-tip, and a little bit of eye makeup remover. I'm just using a simple eye makeup remover and I just like to take a little bit of this on here because it's so hard to do in mid -air. Okay, I got some. Um, I'm going to take this across my waterline and clean that up and what that will do is that will naturally brighten up your waterline. You know, kind of remove any dirt or any makeup or anything like that that's on there. Just make them naturally look more bright and then make your eyes look bigger. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and I'm going to add some Prep and Prime by MAC. Um, I use this in a lot of tutorials just because I really do like kind of big full lashes, but I think that this is definitely important or helpful in this look because she is definitely known for her big, gorgeous, long, thick eyelashes. So I'm going to apply some of this. If you don't have any of this, then that's fine, but um, I do think that this is definitely something that will help you achieve the look that we are aiming for. So I'm going to put that on both the top and the bottom lashes. Okay, so now I'm going to wait a little while for that to dry. A lot of people do say that they find that if you don't put mascara on instantly after applying this, that it goes clumpy and it doesn't work as well. But I find the complete opposite, actually. It might just be different for different people. But I find that I have to leave it to dry a little while to kind of let it really work. So I'm just going to leave that for a few seconds and then I'm going to apply... <coughs> My voice has gone really funny. I'm going to apply some of the Urban Decay Super Curl Mascara. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm just going to apply some false eyelashes. Obviously, this step is optional, but I just think that they really do add to the look. So I'm just going to use some of the Eldora eyelashes. They're just these kind of pretty, kind of... Whoa, it's not focusing. Um, really long, quite spidery lashes, really. But, I mean, I think that these work quite well. So I'm just going to apply those. Yeah, all that I've done is just add a little bit of lip gloss. I've just added some of the Cargo lip gloss in the shade Tokyo. Um, it's just from a few glossy boxes back. It's kind of run down now. But uh, just because she never really seems like she's wearing too much on her lips, it always seems to be like very natural looking. So this is just a very sheen, sheeny, that's not a word, very pink, a pink sheen, pink glossy sheen. Wow, I'm making no sense whatsoever. But yeah, I've just added that. So now I'm going to move on to the hair. Now I'm just going to unclip my fringe. Now, you'll be able to tell in a minute, my fringe has kind of grown out a lot, it's kind of really long. So I'm just going to kind of 
pull it up a bit at the front. I'm going to get it trimmed soon just so that it doesn't look really silly. But just for now, <laughs> I'm just going to have to pull it up a bit. Okay, now there are two different ways that you can do the hair. One involves heat and one does not. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply some heat protectant spray, which is just this squash cough. <laughs> Pro Styling Heat Protectant Spray. I'm just going to apply this just because I'm obviously going to be showing you both ways of doing your hair, but if you're not planning on using the heat, then you can just skip this step. So, wow, it's locked. That would help if I opened it. So I'm just going to spray this just through my hair. Okay, now the way that I'm going to do this without heat is I'm going to skip the step of curling because sometimes she just seems to have very kind of curly hair and sometimes it just seems very naturally wavy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do the natural waves first and then I'll show you how to do the curls. So just for the natural kind of wavy big look, I'm just going to be using some of the Got To Be Powderful Volumizing Powder. I'm just going to take some of that just in my hands. Whoa. Rub them together and I'm just going to focus that on the roots. You can probably see all the little powder kind of floating around. But and I'm just going to put some at the root of my fringe as well just to kind of lift that up a bit so it's not in my eyes. Just like that. And now I'm going to take some of the Aussie Texturizing Spray. And I'm just going to kind of focus that through the ends, really. I'm pretty sure I just sprayed that all the way up the head. I didn't get any in my hair. Wow, I really can't speak today. Okay, now I'm just going to kind of ruffle the ends and scrunch it and stuff. Just give it a really natural, kind of big, messy look. And that is basically the first look. Now, I would, at this point, add some hairspray. Just the got to be collagen lift hairspray but because I'm going to be using heat for my hair right now I'm not going to do that just yet so I'll show you how to do the second look but this is the first look and I think this looks quite good looks quite similar to how she wears it in the show quite a lot so yeah I'll show you how to do the second look now okay now the second look requires a curling tongue so I'm just going to be using this one by Babyliss I'm not actually sure of the name of this one but I know that it's a new one new for me anyway it's probably been out for ages but all I'm going to do with this I'm just going to curl my hair literally adding a lot of volume and curl to the top because she does seem like her curls do start quite far up and then just literally following them all the way down I'm not going to really do a lot of this on camera just because it will take a long time so I'm just going to show you the first few curls and then I'll go ahead and do this off camera and I'll come back when it's done really so I'll just wait for this to get hot I think it's hot so I'm just going to start just with these bits at the front I'm going to curl them underneath, just like that, just to get a lot of volume away from the, the crown. That one did not work at all. Let's try that again. I don't think this is hot yet. There we go. So I'm just going to start doing curls like that all the way across the top of the head and just literally following down. And I'm going to be curling away from the crown the whole time. Okay, so I'm going to go do this off camera now and I will come back in like what will probably be about half an hour for me, but I'll be literally back in like a second. So, okay, I'll be back in a minute. And as you can see now, my hair is a lot bigger and a lot more curly. So I'm just going to apply some hairspray. Apply? No? I don't know. Does that work? Apply some hairspray? Anyway, I'm going to spray some hairspray. And um, that is the hair. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you some outfit ideas. But as you can see, the hair here is a lot different than the hair before. It's just much more kind of artificially curly and stuff like that rather than just wavy and I've kind of separated my fringe as well just because she does that sometimes as well she does, she kind of separates it so that it's kind of goes out to the side like this but you can obviously just wear it 
however she does have it very messy so it doesn't really make a difference what you do with it so now I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the outfit ideas okay so this is the first outfit that I think works quite well um, this is just a dress from Zara and it's just kind of like a tunic dress with stripes and I've just got that on with tights and just some flat black dolly shoes so yeah that is the first outfit that I think would work really well okay and this is another outfit that I think that would work she tends to wear a lot of kind of vintage looking shirts tucked into high waisted skirts so this is just a blouse from like a vintage shop and this skirt is just from Topshop and again I've just got that with tights and black dolly shoes she seems to wear a lot of dolly shoes she doesn't really tend to wear heels a lot she's got very kind of a casual vintage style so there is another outfit and this is just another like alternate skirt that you could wear uh, this is just a vintage DIY of mine I just kind of cut it and made it shorter in the front with the black underneath um, and then it's just kind of longer at the back so that would work again equally just any kind of skirt that you have you could also swap the skirt for some shorts these are just some high-waisted kind of silvery grey shorts that are from Oasis these also would work and again just with tights and black dolly shoes that seems to be a very kind of staple of hers just dolly shoes and tights she also goes bare-legged but I wouldn't recommend that in the weather we have at the minute but yeah that's another play suits would also work this is just a play suit from Primark um, she does seem to wear play suits in the show and they seem to fit her style really well as well so this is just another option of an outfit and this is just another play suit from just like a local there a local boutique here where I live. So yeah, this would just this is a bit more kind of tight and skimpy. This is probably something that her character would wear on like a night out or something. So yeah, this is just another L outfit idea. And this is just a dress from New Look. It's got like horse print on it. And again, just I've not even changed my shoes or my tights like because she said she does wear like flat shoes a lot so yeah just another outfit I have way more than I thought I did sorry okay and that was my video I'm sorry about all the outfits at the end I kind of got a bit carried away I just kept finding things that looked right and that matched and that worked so sorry about that but yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video guys let me know what you thought and everything let me know if you have any requests um I'm literally up for anything if you send me a picture or anything like that if I think that I can do it up to standard then I will try so yeah let me know if you have any video requests or anything like that and thumbs up comment subscribe yeah I'll see you later bye guys